your connection in Southern Oregon and Northern California. This is News 10 at 5. Good evening, I'm Rick Tiller. I'm Trish Close. Thanks for joining us tonight. Police are investigating a fire in a vacant Medford home. They say it may be the work of a serial arsonist. It is the seventh fire in an empty home just in the last few months. News 10's Whitney Clark is live with the latest on the investigation in tonight's Top Story at 5. Good evening, Rick and Trish. When fire crews first arrived here at this home on Prune Street, they found several small fires in the garage, which is now all boarded up. This fire now being investigated as an arson. Unfortunately, though, in these types of cases, police don't have much to work off of. An empty home set on fire, an arson under investigation, with few clues as to who did it. Oftentimes, there's very little evidence left behind, and then that evidence that is left behind is destroyed in the fire. That fire happened Wednesday night at a home on Prune Street in Medford, a bank-owned home no one was living in. Fire crews say they believe someone set several fires in the garage, causing about $30,000 in damage. This, the seventh fire in a vacant home this year. Police say the problem seems to be getting worse. We used to have, have one or two every couple months. Uh, now we're getting them pretty consistently. The fire spread all over town, mostly in southwest Medford. For now, crews do not know if they are related. However, one thing they all have in common, the types of homes they were in. All of these fires were vacant homes. Um, they seem to have started at different times during the day. Police say they have had reports of people going into the home on Prune. Inside, officers found graffiti. The people who live near here say for the most part they didn't see anything suspicious. Meanwhile, police asking for clues before it happens again. Who's to say that, especially going into the summer months, that, that those fires are not going to spread to neighboring homes and catch those homes on fire? One thing the neighbors did say they were very impressed by was how quickly fire crews were able to get here and get that fire out. Investigators are really urging anyone who may have been in the area and seen something to contact police. Covering your news live in Medford, Whitney Clark, News 10.